Hey guys, it's Ash. Just recently, we have six new hypercharges added to the game. So we're gonna be updating our hypercharge tier list from the worst hypercharges to the best hypercharges. So let's start. Let's start with the worst hypercharges in the game. These are the one star hypercharges, which include Charlie, Jean, Pearl, Sprout and Nanny's newest hypercharge. All of these are at the bottom and that's mainly because they offer very little value. For example, Pearl's hypercharge is gonna knock back the enemy away from the effect over hypercharge which doesn't help at all. And then you have Sprout's hypercharge which does additional damage if you throw walls at the enemy which you're rarely ever going to need to do because Sprout's walls are made to block enemies. And then you have Gene's pull. He got three pulls with his hypercharge charge but a lot of times you don't need three pulls and uh, oftentimes that can backfire you can pull a brawler that you don't want to like a shelly or bull right and then you have charlie whose hypercharge is not so bad it does summon three mini spiders which is better than nothing of course but then you have to take into account she's a single target brawler and so she takes a very long time to charge her hypercharge and now with the newest hypercharge nanny her peep increases in size and a lot of times that can backfire. Having a bigger peep also means that you're more likely to hit a wall and not the enemy. Next, let's move on to the two star hypercharges. These are a little better. We have Miko, Bell, Primo, Shelly, Ems, Angelo, the newest hypercharges for Poco and Squeak, and then the buffed up hypercharges for Tick and Brock. Now with the latest buffs, Brock does deal a little more damage with his hypercharge, but it's still not enough. It's not sufficient enough, especially on heist, it does very little damage. So still at the two stars. Now we have Tick's hypercharge. We got a hypercharge rate increase, meaning he gets his hypercharge quicker. But even then his hypercharge is pretty easy to deal with. It only speeds up his tick head and then summons mines which is pretty easy to deal with destroy so it's not the greatest hypercharge but it's still pretty good for two stars and then for the newest hypercharges for squeak and poco poco gets an overheal shield which is a pretty nice benefactor but it's only great when your teammates are at full health that you get that additional shield and for squeak his super is one of the easiest to dodge in the game. So a lot of times you're not really gonna get a benefit from his hypercharge because you need his sticky bombs to land on an enemy to then bounce and you also need to get a little lucky for additional damage from that. Next, we have the three-star hypercharges. These are very good in the fact that they all make the brawlers a lot better. So we have Bull, Colt, Crow, Jackie, Maisie, BB, Rosa, Varley, and Spike. Now, without a hypercharge, a lot of these brawlers would be lower in the meta. And that's just the fact because a brawler like Bull, he needs that hypercharge for the additional shield and damage. A brawler like Colt, having that hypercharge makes it really easy to land his super. Crow does a lot of damage with this hypercharge. Jackie really needs that speed boost for her hypercharge. Maisie becomes a monster with the speed boost with her hypercharge. And then you have BB summoning multiple bubbles with her hypercharge. Rosa slowing the enemy down and getting a speed boost to get on top of enemies. She really needs that to approach them. Uh, as for Barley, destroying bushes and Spike, of course, having a bigger circle means he can utilize his mythic gear, the slowdown effect, even better. Next, we have the four star hypercharges. These are very dangerous and very good hypercharges. We have Buzz, Cordelia's, Fang, Jesse, Piper, Max, Nita, Terra, and her newest hypercharge. Edgar, Serge, and Colette. Now, Buzz's hypercharge gives him that added mobility. He's a monster with it. He can go from uh, point A to point B all the way to the safe in heist, for example, easily, or stun an enemy from afar with multiple uses. Then you got Cordelius's hypercharge. Once he entraps you in his domain, guys, with his hypercharge, you're pretty much done for. You're slowed down, so he gets a very easy kill. Now, Fang's hypercharge is very deadly. One of the best in the game, but the reason it's four star instead of five is because it takes a very long time to charge. However, once you do get it, it it's one of the most deadliest hypercharges, especially combined with this fresh kick star power. You can 
go through walls with it and if you can cycle supers you can get team wipes pretty easily and then you have jesse's hypercharge that huge turret with so much damage it, it's great for heist and control game modes like hot zone so it could you can even argue for five stars but in this current meta with so many powerful throwers and long range brawlers uh it's gonna keep jesse a little lower at four stars we got piper's hypercharge great for destroying walls and empowering her we got max's hypercharge which is super op if your teammates can coordinate better and everyone gets uh boosted by his hypercharge super boost it can be very deadly nita's hypercharge is also really strong and hyper bear that has a lot of uh health and she can utilize her gadgets both of them very well with it and then we got Terra's the newest hypercharge which is very underrated very powerful because what it does is it not only extends the range of her super guys but also destroys all terrain all the walls bushes much better than her normal super making it very deadly hypercharge for getting multiple brawlers guys she can get two three kills pretty easily with it and then the Edgar's hypercharge is super deadly. That added shield bonus he gets and then added damage means more heal. It's super powerful. And of course, Surge's newest hypercharge is so strong because of the fact that it doesn't need he doesn't need his super to utilize it. it makes his basic attack stronger. So if you're at stage three and you activate his hypercharge, you get to stage four. And you're gonna be a monster, guys. That added range and boosted power, it's gonna allow you to get team wipes very easily without even needing a super and then colette's hypercharge is insane on heist and the main reason colette's hypercharge is not five stars mainly because it's super op on only one game mode heist whereas in the other game modes it's not that oppressive and finally, for the best of the best guys, the five star hypercharges. These are at five stars because of how insane they are, how difficult it is to stop these brawlers when they have their hypercharge super guys. And these are Gale, Dynamite, Rico, Frank, Leon, Lou, Sandy, and the newest hypercharge for Mortis. So speaking of Mortis's hypercharge being one of the deadliest in the game, guys, it gives you double heal, double damage, damage, add it with a mythic gear, and you're gonna deal insane amount of damage, and you got crazy team wipe potential to destroy the entire enemy team, making him one of the deadliest late game brawlers in the game. And then of course the other hypercharges, for example, Sandy's hypercharges, it not only it keeps your uh, teammates invisible, but of course, it also mutes the enemy for a bit and then gives you a huge speed boost to everyone inside the sandstorm. That is insane for your whole team. The support value is just crazy. And then of course, you got lose hypercharge. You drop the edit, you you drop your super with hypercharge. You get instant freeze, which basically means a free kill or two for you and your teammates. And then you got leon's hypercharge one of the deadliest hypercharges in the game because of that combination with invisi heal you get added speed of course and you get shield plus the benefit of heal from the invisi heal makes him a monster to deal with because he can chain supers he can get another super back very quickly with it making him so hard to deal with and then we got frank's hypercharge that extended range and then frank having insane attack speed at low health he can be a very difficult brawler to stop and that team wipe potential is very high and then rico of course his bounces with his hypercharge is insane it goes all over the map making it very very difficult to dodge same with uh dynamite's team wipe potential his dynamites go all over the place recharges your super gives you multiple super opportunities more opportunities to team wipe so you can see a commonality with all of these hypercharges in the five star is their team wipe potential all of these brawlers have high team wipe potential and then of course gale at the top here he's so strong because this hypercharge is so hard to avoid it goes through walls deals double damage does so much damage of course and then if, if you combine it with this blustery blow star power you can freeze the enemy you can deal so much it's insane so there you guys have it the updated full hypercharge tier list for all 43 hypercharges in the game hope you guys enjoyed today's video thank you guys so much for watching leave a like and subscribe for more brawl stars content and i'll see you guys again soon take care